Guys, welcome to another vlog. We are in Hong Kong and it's amazing. We thought we'll give you a lowdown on the traditional, real Hong Kong things to do in Hong Kong. So we're gonna start off here behind me. The red building is uh, a temple. We'll put the name underneath. Uh, but it's a temple for 100 names. So we're gonna go inside and take a look. <laughs> what makes me laugh is you can't see Graham behind the camera there. He is literally melting. And it is so hot in Hong Kong right now. It's 33 degrees. <laughs> like I've literally been walking with an umbrella for the sun because it's like unbearable. And I've got my backpack on right now. My t-shirt is drenched. Ooh. The Having traditional fun. Hong Kong. Here we come, babe. Come here. We in. Go. I wish you could smell this. Like the incense are so beautiful. Like the smell is amazing. The Chinese believe that you will roam the earth as a hungry ghost unless your ancestral tablet is written. And of course, no one wants that. The people in the neighborhood were far from home and away from their families. The Temple of a Hundred Surnames was where the dying could find refuge, have an ancestral tablet created and be sent to the afterlife in peace. Inside the temple, you can see these tablets lining the wall. Guys, those are actual incense, so they just burn all the way around. I'm guessing they light them in the morning and it burns all the way around to the night time. We weren't allowed in there with the camera, but we've been outside, we've drummed the drum, bell the bell, and yeah, pretty cool they got this in such like an uh, you know, urban area. So guys, this is typical Hong Kong. Big high rise buildings, lots of air conditioning units, and just high, high, high. Hey, did you know that Hong Kong is the most vertically high residential place in the world? I didn't know that, but I'm not surprised because every time we want to go to a restaurant, we can't bloody find the thing and it turns out, oh, it's on third level. Like, how can you find it if it's on the third level? So guys, just some facts while we're walking through the lovely streets of Hong Kong. Hong Kong is the most expensive city to live in in the world. the world and there is lots of stairs like this it reminds me of san francisco to be honest yeah a lot yeah definitely. it's steep steep and it gives you fear and there's more stairs going this way another fact there is a escalator that goes away all the way up the stairs i think for a mile yeah 800 meters something like that yeah and we did it the other night and it just goes on and on and on and there's loads, got of, bars on the way. loads of restaurants and bars it's pretty cool yeah maybe some more fun facts in a minute guys we're at Manmo temple which is behind us it is a more of a well-known temple that people visit but it's right around the hollywood antiques road so it's worth having a look because it's worth having a look around this area anyway exactly <laughs> let's try and get inside and let's try and film inside sink the camera
guys, it's definitely worth coming here. It is an amazing temple. We even have a male model shooting a campaign. It's so cool. Yes, hello. This is what we call the magic moments at this Manbu temple. This magic moments only appears in the uh, June, July and the first few weeks of August and only in the afternoon. So that if you come and you can see this or you can take some photograph of this uh, magic moments, you are very lucky. Welcome to Hong Kong. We're so lucky. Yeah, it's magic moments. Can I see you again? Graham has been a model. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. But I'm not focusing the person, I'm focusing this. On this, yeah. Yeah. Because there's no need to focus the person. Yeah. But we, we are just getting the, the lighting on the side of the body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's perfect. Wow. There is another request. They, they ask you to stand in this position and we'll try to take some more pictures. Okay. Yeah, I'll try that. <laughs> The temple was really cool. Oh my like, God. That's the best part about traveling. You end up meeting people, taking photos together. They told us that July and August was the best time in that temple because of the, the way the light was shining in that only yeah. happens in those months. So yeah, awesome. And the guides are gonna send us over some photos that they took of us. So, uh, so have a look at some of the shots. Okay guys, we are extremely hot, Woo. thirsty, and we haven't eaten today. So we are going to a cool little restaurant called Lil Bao. Lil Bao. So it's full of, what are they called? Well, you know the bao, uh, like the steamed rice buns. In Dutch, we call them bao, but ba -bao. they're baos. And this is like a restaurant that only does baos, but it's with a twist. So we're gonna see what's on the menu. Oh, well, I'm hungry, so let's go. So we were keen to Little Bao, but it is closed. Baby's closed, we have to find somewhere else. I can't wait. And the journey continues. Wow. So guys, we are at Fat Choi. Fat Choi. A couple of doors up from Little Bao. Yeah. These names are crazy. They're so cool. You know, sometimes we just get so hungry, you just like eat anywhere, eat anything. Yeah, but well, I think we had to hit the jackpot because it's kind of like really healthy, lots of quinoa, sourdough, avocado. It's gonna be good. Dinner is served, guys. Got a flatbread. Flatbread. And a charcoal beetroot burger with sweet potatoes. Oh, wedges. All in sauce. I'm so looking forward to this. So we were just wandering the streets of Hong Kong on the way to the next sort of site that we wanted to see. You remember how Graham was saying about the escalator? It's right here. And this is Elgin Street. And um, you got like the coolest restaurants. We just had the best food at Fat Chow. But this goes all the way up. Make a note, Elgin Street for food. There's like so many cool places. So guys, we are going to Victoria Peak, which is like the highest, one of the highest peaks in Hong Kong, probably. It's the highest. One of the highest. And we met these guys in the taxi queue. This is Yasmin Jose. and Jose from South America yes, from and Peru. from Germany. Oh, from Peru. Cool. Oh. So to get up to Victoria's Peak, you have to take a tram and the current wait time is three hours and it costs 10 uh, Hong, Kong, Hong Kong dollars each. But we're not going to wait three hours, so we jumped in a taxi together and it's going to cost eight pounds each. And we should be up there over the next 15 minutes. So, yeah, if you want to wait around for three hours, take the tram, if not, get a taxi. All right, we'll see you at the top. Okay, so we've made it to the top. We made it to the top. When you get to the peak, this inside a secret. You want to walk up Lugard Road. Lugard Road. You want to walk for about 20 minutes, apparently, and then you'll have the view all to yourself. And you won't have to spend on the sky view. So let's go for a walk then. Yeah. So guys, we've been walking for about 10 minutes now, and 
Someone did say to us that there would be lots of trees. You can see, so you can't really see it down downstairs. Downstairs, like down there. But um, yeah, we're gonna keep walking and hopefully find a cool little spot. Yes. And it's really nice up here actually because it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> yes. How high are we? I don't know how high we are. Okay, I'll find out and put it in below now. I should have turned on my ski app. Yeah, turn on the ski app. <laughs> it's nice. It's a refreshing time of day. Let's put it that way. When you're in Hong Kong and it's like 35 degrees, it's it's, it's hot. Lovely. Guys, we've come to the first viewing point. It's quite small and you can see a lot, but I think we can do better. I think someone lives here. Check out the mansion. I can see security cameras. And Bob, maybe it's like a jail or something. No, look at it, babe. It's a mansion. I just think it's a jail. Like your view, room view would be epic. <sighs> You're crazy, babe. Let's, let's just go to jail. I'll go to jail on there. Guys, we made it. It was worth it. Look at this view. It's epic. It is so cool. We're gonna drone at night, but the wind's picked up too much, so we're not gonna risk it. Uh, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Make sure you subscribe, you like, and you ring the little bell to get notified when we're uploading. We're gonna upload three times a week now, so I hope to see you again. Oh, remember? Free one that you fall.